Oh snap, Blaze is going live. Good day, good day, good day, good day. Thank you for joining me. Just in case you'll join me for the very first time, I'm your host, the one they call Brian Glaze Gibbs. And right now, is listen, folks, what I'm going to talk about something simple today. Um, right now is we always have to be mindful and be respectful. Know your audience. Be careful what you say. A lot of times, you know, saying because of the social media and, you know, things. With the social medias and everything that's going on from YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, you know, a lot of people do a lot of things over the phone, over the computer, and they can be very disrespectful, very offensive. You know why? Because they got little regards. They feel right now is I can say what I want to say, do what I want to do, and it's not going to be no repercussion. But you got to be very, very careful. What you do is before you type or before you make a message or send a message or before you say certain things, ask yourself the quality question. If that person was face to face to me, why well, I say the same thing? I'm going to be a keyboard gangster. If you wouldn't say that same thing to a person face to face, don't say it at all. You know what? Like last night, last night at the Oscar, what took place? G.I. Jane 2, can't wait this. to see it. All right? Nice one. Okay. I'm out here. Uh oh, Richard. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. Did my name out your mouth. Wow, dude. Yeah. It was a G.I. Jane joke. Keep my wife's name out your mouth. I'm going to, okay? <laughs> I can, oh, okay. That was the uh, greatest night in the history of television. Okay. Hey, folks, look at that. Look what just happened. Here it is, Will Smith. What everybody know Will Smith for? Everybody know Will Smith from, you know, being a rapper. Will Smith from being the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. You know, Will Smith is that humble, meek individual. You don't hear him, a bad boy. You never hear him really getting on any crazy. You don't never hear him getting into wild and crazy and violent situation. So the difference is right now, you look at Chris Rock. Chris Rock is a comedian. Everybody know Chris Rock. Chris Rock is Pookie from New Jack City. So the difference is everybody know everybody hate Chris. But yet and still, look what happened. He had a tendency of saying something slick. He's a comedian. So once again, he says something slick about his Will Smith wife, Jada. And if you look at them, they've been under scrutiny for how long? Every time you look around, when they sit back and you think about with that Augusto situation, with that August situation, entanglement, you know what, after a while, man, all that stuff get old. Right now, people have feelings. So when you sit back and you think about it, what we as people, what we as human beings have to be, we have to be mindful, be respectful, and right now is watch what we say. Watch what we do. And keep in mind right now is before that word come fly out your mouth, ask yourself, is it going to bring that person pain or is it going to bring that person pleasure? If it's going to bring them pain, you know what? Come on, bite your tongue. Hold it in. Don't spit it out. Like, it's a lot of things. Like, even right now, who to expect to have black-on-black black crime at the Oscar? Come on. That's unheard of. Will Smith, Gentle Bill, Gentle Will, went up there. Right now, everybody all over, millions of people watch that live as he walked on stage and he assaulted. You know what I'm saying? Chris Rock. You know, some people right now agree with it. Some people don't agree with it. Some people saying that, guess what? Will should have thicker skin. You know what? You got to learn how to not be, we as folks have to learn how not to be oversensitive. We can't think too, take things too personal. But once again, sometime when you keep taking it, you keep being like the late Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. You keep being like him. You know, right now, somebody hit you once, you turn your cheek. Somebody hit you again, you turn your cheek. Somebody hit you again, you turn your cheek. Somebody hit you again, you turn your cheek. Guess what? Sometimes you get tired of turning your cheek. Sometimes you don't have no more cheek to turn. You know what? It's like you sit back, enough become enough. And then automatically, guess what? You explode. 
And that's what happened. So to me, I'm not trying to make what Will Smith justify. I can't. Because once again, right now, he's a grown man. But he did at that present time what he felt was in the best interest of him, his wife, his family. Okay? Was he wrong? Who am I to say, you know what I'm saying, whether he's wrong or right? Let he or she out sin cast the first stone. But that's just a lesson learned, folks. Listen, you got to be careful. Because once again, I, I don't care who it is. A person can be humble and meek. They all got breaking point. They all have breaking point. Listen, folks, hit that like button. Subscribe. Share. You know what? Even though right now, like I try to tell people, get your signed copy of the Beyond Lucky book, The Brian Glaze Gibbs Story, by emailing me at Brian, B-R-I-A-N, Gibbs, G-I-B-B-S, 1201 at yahoo.com. If you know of anybody that's suffering from high blood pressure, high cholesterol, no energy, high sugar, high weight, right now is get your Panoxol. Right now, get your Panoxol. Right now is, guess what? It can save your wife's life. It can save your husband's life. It can save your father, your mother's life. That's what it's all about. Knowledge is wealth. And that's what we have to do. We have to share important information. And once again, anybody that's interested in, in the Eric Adam plant-based book, I'm going to get mines. I'm going to get mines. Because once again, right now, knowledge is power. When you look good, you feel good, you do good. Peace, love, and prosperity. One love. Yo, Glaze, what up? Just finished reading your book, Beyond Lucky, The Brian Glaze Story. Crack, Money, Murder, and Redemption. Great book from the beginning to the end. Folks, get the book. Get your signed copy. Awesome book. Awesome story. Free cat. Free pappy. Free supreme. Free the rest of the family. Peace, Glaze. Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much, Brian. Gifts. I love this book so much. I mean, I was a fan of your YouTube channel, but now I'm like a real up close and personal fan. I really love what you have going on here. And not only that, but I too was once lost. And now I'm with them. So thank you, Brian, for this autographed copy. I appreciate you. Have you checked your tire pressure today? I don't have a flat. Have you checked your blood pressure today? No, I don't feel sick.